Coopers go D to D. Now a hit man pass. Break away for Nelson. He goes in. He scores! Wow! 32 seconds. A break away for Nelson. One nothing Minnesota. Living in Laverne, Magnolia, you don't really have that much access to ice in the summers. He's an excellent skater, he's tough, he can kill penalties, he can play on a power play, he's center, he can play against other team's top players. He just plays with so much poise, he never has an ego about him, he's very humble, he's very modest, and I, I think you are going to hear about Jackson Nelson. He started out, I think it was three years old, he started to put skates on. His first year in hockey, he did not get to travel with the team. It was just strictly practicing, except for the one tournament he did get to go to was in a Sioux Center, and he scored on the wrong net. <laughs> and that was his first goal. We used to have a net down by the cattle shed, and I always go down and shoot on that. Or we had an old washer, and I would shoot into the circle of the old washer. And growing up, it was more just hang out with your buddies in the winter and as it went on there were no the parents were a little more dedicated to go to those farther away tournaments where there are a lot better teams than down here obviously and just being able to compete with them and seeing that we can compete with them was you know it was kind of eye-opening. This is Blue Mound Ice Arena where I grew up playing hockey. A lot of special memories here. The best one's probably packed uh, arena when we played Totina Grace at home and we ended up winning and that was a lot of fun and a lot of enjoyment. You know, just coming in here and seeing that, you know, the whole community is behind you and they're always cheering for you. I always come back home and hear from everyone saying how oh, we're always watching you play and we're always there to support you. So. It's a lot easier to be able to be away from home and do that when you got the amount of support that, that I have. Now those are some of the banners. Section 3A champion in 2014 it was the first time we made it to state. My seventh grade year, I was maybe going to play varsity, and I played all the summer stuff with them, and then I ended up playing Bantams. And then the next year was my eighth grade year, and I started in the high school with them, and we went undefeated the whole year and our first loss was against Hermantown in the first round of the state tournament. He never has an ego about him. I felt he fit into our room really well. I mean when you're an eighth grader and you're with a lot of older guys you never know how that's going to go and it's just kind of the kid he is. He's very humble, he's very modest and I, I think you are going to hear about Jackson Nelson. In this area it's mostly all agriculture. My dad was talking to my grandma the other day and she was saying that it went all the way back to the 20s when her mom had a farm and they started building this house here in uh, the fall of 59 and my dad's grandparents moved in in the 60s and then my mom and dad moved in here in the early 2000s. Try and get going most of the time by seven most days and you know try and finish up most days by around six if we can but you know some days it ends up being 10 o'clock too. We're just getting the cows out of the pasture and it's time to take the calves off the cows and let the cows kind of regenerate for next year so they don't get so run down and start putting some weight back on for the winter and give the calves shots and then just let them grow up a little bit. I have my dog Finn, hurts my dad's dog, and he always rides on the floor there with me. And once we get around him, then I let him out and he kind of chases them back and forth and kind of knows where they need to go. So that helps a lot. And he can kind of go off by himself, but he usually chases me around. <laughs> We're gonna vaccinate all the calves. Uh, I think there's three shots and the nasal gin will give them and then we'll just kick them into a different pen and just let them start growing up and hopefully they don't get sick. Oh. You know, it's, it has its ups and its downs, there's some good days and bad days, but that's for everything. Sometimes 
you have a plan and that plan is, isn't going to work if something comes up and there's always something that can go wrong where the cattle get out or something breaks down or just takes time to fix everything and get everything working and my cows. Just being able to adapt to all the different things that can happen and definitely having some patience. Come on cow, go. Knowing that my family's been here for that long is just something that's really cool and something I want to be a part of later, but you know, I'm focusing on hockey and see how far that takes me. Being a Minnesota kid, I remember I remember watching the Blake Wheeler goal when he dove against North Dakota and batted that one in. And I saw that and kind of always wanted to be a gopher and I'm glad that I was able to. There is great hockey that's been played down in the southern part of Minnesota. No question the northern part, you know, with the history and tradition gets a lot of the accolades, but a guy like Jackson coming through from a non-traditional hockey area is great for our state. He's a guy that's not afraid to go into corners and, and win puck battles and get in front of the net, but he also has an unbelievable shot. And, one thing that he really relies upon and is getting himself in scoring opportunities and you know that's how he was when he was a kid. He was one of the best players ever growing up so kind of has the mind of a player that's five foot nine but the body of someone who's six three so he's not afraid to get into little areas and you know he's definitely got enough skill to make those plays. It's a he scores. Jackson is as, as calm and cool and collective as a, as a player that I've been around and that's one thing that we've become to rely on is that calm coolness in him. His role has grown into such a great spot to, for a championship program. And sometimes they're undervalued in media, they're undervalued behind the scenes, but I'm telling you inside, you can't win big without that. You're just representing the whole state of Minnesota. You know, there's other Minnesota teams, but there's no Minnesota team better than the Gophers, in my opinion. And just representing them every time I put the M on and just showing the whole community of Minnesota hockey what we're all about. And, Always trying to put my best foot forward and leave the jersey in a better place.